Welcome to another episode of The Other Side. I'm Wesley, and I don't know what the fuck he's doing. I'm Will, bub. We're going to talk video games. All right, yes, we're talking about video games. E3 has been and gone. Uh, no point in covering it. Nintendo phoned it in with a live stream and whatever. We want to talk about some of the systems that are Nintendo. coming out again. And some games. A new Xbox. Two of them. Yes. If you were disappointed with the Xbox One, so was Microsoft. Now it's called the Xbox One S? Yes, and yeah, and the Scorpio. With, with more my, power? Yeah, we're using uh Whoa, whoa, whoa don't go too fast astronomy. for me. Astronomy. So I trade in my Xbox One. Yes. And I could get what, how much money from GameStop? And I can get the Xbox One S. Yes! Yes. Works just like my cell phone. Yeah. That's basically what they're I think they'll probably go to, I don't know what Microsoft's doing, maybe trying to alienate their audience so they can have a smoother transition into making PC games, because I think that's where they want to go back to. I think they'll be leaving the console market. I thought Xbox soon. One was supposed to be everything. Uh, I yeah. thought at that E3 and now it's smaller, years, smaller, too. Oh, yeah, okay. It's going to be that smaller. They made a giant fucking briefcase right. with not enough memory right. where you have to install every game onto it and it, you lose 250 gigabytes from the get-go because of all the backward system shit. So basically, this is the Xbox One that they wanted to fucking release in the first place. Right. That's what happened here. I don't know. What you the got a transitional. To be, though. Uh, Sega. It was Sega. Like when Sega <laughs> did the the Neptune and the Saturn and the fucking Pluto, and then they came out with the Dreamcast. So at the same time, Xbox shot themselves in the foot, and they're like, "But wait, there's more." In 2017, we're releasing the Scorpio. Yeah, the Scorpio. That's the one named after your, your uh, birth signs. You should have gone with the Scorpio. Xbox Cancer. <laughs> Fuck Cancer. Yeah. The Xbox Scorpio. 2017. Yes. So why the fuck would I buy an Xbox One S? Once again, Sega. Sega Genesis. Don't uh, need it. Maybe Microsoft is trying to get themselves a comfortable niche making games for Nintendo. But the Scorpio is what? I think it is playing the 4K. Yeah, the 4K, which so of the it's, two, it's the one that makes the most sense because the PlayStation, Sony, is making the PlayStation 4.5, which is not really a different PlayStation. It will be compatible with the PlayStation 4. Um, they say you can play games on both of them. Uh, but you can... Uh, yeah, it, you can basically it's compatible with the. But mommy, I want the TV. PlayStation 4.5. Yeah, the TVs are getting better resolution. The picture, the pixel frame rates, you know, everything's gonna look better. Um, so if I don't have the 4K TV, I guess I don't need that Scorpio. Huh? No, you don't need it. Fuck it. So yeah, and fuck that TV. Yeah. Dictates buying a new fuck you TV. No, my problem with this is, it seems to me that Xbox is releasing Xboxes like cell phones. Like. Yeah, they like figure iPhones eight. Come They out. figure eight. If morons will pay $500 every year for a fucking iPhone, and I'm sorry if I insulted you, but I wouldn't spend $500 a year on a fucking phone. But, Where have uh, you been? It was like 800 I wouldn't do it. Uh, well, I think if you have a contract, <laughs> yeah, they, you know, and they own your soul, you get technology, a lot. Look, technology can jump. I understand that, but give me a break. No, it does jump, but the it shouldn't Xbox, cost as much. Some of the graphics, Xbox One to 360, there was not a big difference. All right. No, if you, especially if you have them both running through an HD. Yeah, there wasn't a lot. So, I don't, you know, I don't... The one, okay, if you didn't, I wish I would have known this was going to happen or I wouldn't have bought my Xbox One, you know, last year because um, I waited forever because I knew bullshit like this. Yeah. No, they're just trying to fuck you out of more money, which is why but I But I think don't know if I'm going to go Xbox. Yeah, I, I think, don't know if I I'm think gonna... Nintendo's going to win some of your loyalty I back. I think, yep, I think I'm switching over because I am a huge Fuck fan. you to Microsoft! <laughs> I'm a huge fan of Legend of Zelda, and there hasn't really been... A new there one hasn't since been. Twilight. Yeah, they there was Twilight not Princess. a Zelda on the Wii U. So I bought that right at the end of the life of my GameCube. GameCube I bought yep. the Twilight Princess, played that, but now... So Zelda Breath of the Wild. If you have not seen clips of this game, you need to go watch the trailers. It is a beautiful game. It does look nice. Sandbox-style world. Go everywhere, do everything. And then Climb of, trees, yes. blow shit up, burn stuff. It looked awesome. Yes, for what? Nintendo's new, cos new console? For the Nintendo Wii? <gasps> No. The Nintendo NX. NX. Well, are their little? What's their handheld? Wii U. Yeah. Or your Wii U. 
So it's coming out for your Wii U, but it'll be the the one of the first. It's games gonna be like the they NX. did with Twilight Princess, where Twilight Princess came out at the end of the GameCube's life and the beginning of the Wii's life. It and was I released know, on both systems. I know what you're thinking. Well, come on, you're gonna buy a freaking new Nintendo just to play Legend of Zelda. It's just another stupid system. Au contraire. They could be going back to cartridge. Yes. Or more appropriately, unlimited power and USB discs. Yeah. It'll be basically USB little uh, flash drives, which I think would be a good move. Hell yeah, you're yeah. Uh, no more load times. Yeah, gives you lots of flexibility. That's one of my big things. Uh, you can just run around. The game looks great. I don't know how many other great games will come out for it. Obviously, a great Mario. But yeah, but you'll you'll get you'll get your staples. I think I'm gonna go back to Nintendo. But, but some of the games... Not out of date quite yet. There are some games still to look forward to. Uh, first of all, these guys behind me here. South Park, The Fractured But Whole. I loved South Park, The Stick of Truth. I thought it was a great uh, classic RPG format for the South Park characters. Mm -hmm. And I am very much looking forward to seeing them in their little superhero roles. Um, especially with, you know, uh, Trey Park and Matt Stone writing it once again, being involved in it once again like they were. They gave a lot of attention, a lot of respect to the Stick of Truth. It was, in fact, one of the few tie-in, you know, franchise tie-in games that I ever played that I genuinely enjoyed. Oh, loved the hell out of it. Um, instead of it being more of your Final it Fantasy was, yeah, style it wasn't just a cash RPG, in. this next one, you'll get to move around a lot more while you're fighting. So, they, I mean, they tweaked some of the game, yeah. you know, workings of it, and it just looks great. And yeah. the so, watch it's going to be trailer. great. Excited for that one. And Zelda. Yeah. Um, also coming out, uh, actually a trailer just saw, uh, Titanfall 2. I want to talk about Titanfall 2 because I thought it was really interesting when Titanfall came out, looked great, and, you know, won awards before it even came out. I don't know how the fuck you do that, but it did. Uh, marketing machine. Anyway, <laughs> it was a great looking game, but no single player campaign. It was online, you know, multiplayer only, very pointless, little single player shit tagged on, which Evolve followed suit and did the same thing. Battlefront followed suit and did the same thing. And these games had to extend their life by releasing DLC in, you know, long, th you know, between long waits. You know, you could buy your season pass for Battlefront as soon as the game came out, but you had to wait basically a year and a half to get that content, well, the reason they did that was to extend the life of the game because a multiplayer-only game cannot survive on the console in the console world. Okay, you're never gonna have the World of Warcraft phenomenon that the PC got. It's never gonna fucking happen. So that's why I thought it was really funny that Titanfall 2, the trailer, is the single-player campaign. The reason I like this is because EA makes Titanfall. EA also made that disappointing Battlefront game, so I'm hoping I will get a oh, proper whoa, 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 Battlefront whoa, disappointing. <laughs> disappointing. I spent a hundred and what ten dollars on that game. It's great. Yeah, no, it's fucking disappointing. It's Star Wars. So I'm it's hoping great. I get a proper Battlefront game, the game we should have got the first fucking time around, with an actual campaign, more meat to it. I will say, I will play Titanfall 2. I thought the trailer looked amazing. Um, you know, I figure if you take that mech and the soldier, but you give it a story, you give me a point to what I'm doing, I'm on board. Another multiplayer game that I will play is For Honor. And if you haven't seen the trailer of this, you got to check this out. It uh, looks like Dynasty Warriors mixed with Fight Night. Um, I love the, the fact that it looks like it takes more skill in using your weapon. You're not just mashing the X button. You actually have to guard and, you know, uh, look for open spots in your enemy's defenses. And so it looks great. Very much looking forward to it. Along with Resident Evil 7. That trailer looks good. It does. Uh, a lot of people a, have said it looks Hill a effect. lot like Silent Hill PT. But Big time. Yeah. But Silent Hill PT was a playable teaser for Silent Hills, a game that's never going to fucking exist. We already so that. So if Resident Evil wants to go ahead and jump in that, go ahead. Um, I like it. Because I just hope it doesn't, that that trailer isn't kind of a bait and switch and it doesn't devolve into Call of Duty with zombies because that already fucking exists. Mm -hmm. So... I hope it keeps the oppressive atmosphere that's in that um, trailer. I yeah. want to see a real survival horror game. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. It's about time for a new horror game. Yeah, make um, it scary. And if not that one, I mean, what, Dead Rising 4 is coming out, I think, December 7? Yeah. Well, it's in if December, can, and it looks yeah. freaking great, It too. looks great, but if you can still combine a sledgehammer with an axe, Dead Rising will never be a scary game. Well, this one's They're set, fun. Yeah, this one's set Christmas time, so I'm all about Christmas and zombies. You yeah. can't go wrong with that. Um, I'm really su super excited about Skyrim Remastered. 
I'm not getting, you know, I'm not getting anything super original from yeah. someone that complains about reboots. It's just a prettier game. I do think yeah. the other downloadable I'm sure, stuff, yeah. All the, it'll be it. like every other HD remake that exists. But um, I only played through this game once. All the so DLC got... will be included. You'll have the ability to port in mods once they're up and running, just like with Fallout 4, which the mods work perfectly. Um... Just like with Fallout 4, this won't be available right away. People will be able to make mods that you can bring over to your console, um, which is a neat added feature. Whichever one you choose. I don't like that it's, you know, Scorpio. you're paying full price for a game this old. And I, I know you only played through it once. I played the shit out of it. Mm -hmm. So I will not buy Skyrim Remastered right away. There's no point. There's going to be nothing new for me in that game right out of the gate. So I'll wait till it drops in price because I don't feel it's worth full price. I mean, even when they re-released Resident Evil, the HD, you know, mm -hmm. remake on Xbox, it was only 20 bucks, you know, because that's all it is. You're just, you prettied it up. So that's it for some video game news. This is the other side and we're out.